Holy Spirit. We need the Holy Spirit. We need Him in our lives. We sometimes forget. The band can stay up here. I think it's so nice to have them here. If you want to sit for a moment, you're more than welcome. But I want to say that we sometimes forget that where we are today, You know, the early church, they didn't get any theological training. They didn't get any budget. There was no particular church building for the first 300 years of the church. But it was just this, that Jesus said, I'm going away, but I will send you the Spirit the spirit of truth and the spirit of truth will lead you into all truth and I think we become so if I can say we we become so so smart in our own ways we know we and we think we have the answers and we're not dependent on the spirit anymore But it's clear in the Bible that it says that the Word of God is inspired by the Spirit. You cannot even read the Bible without the Holy Spirit inspiring His Word and revealing to you His presence. The Bible says in Romans 8 that we don't even know how to pray. We don't even know how to pray but the Spirit Spirit knows. We cannot even pray. I mean, Paul wrote Romans. And, and Paul says, if you would have asked him, he most probably would have said, I know how to do the ritual prayers. I've been there. I know the church ritual prayers. But to truly pray, to truly pray what is needed in the moment, you can only do it the Holy Spirit in your life it's the only way the Holy Spirit confirms your identity Romans 8 tells us that it is only by the Spirit of God that we can know that we are children of God it's only by His Spirit it's not out of your own works it's not out of learning all the the verses about it it is only by the Spirit of God. It's the only way. It's only by His Spirit. It's the only way that the the early church knew. It's the only way that they knew. It's by the Spirit of God. Peter got up on the day of Pentecost and he said in the last days, in the last days, and I think we're there, You know what I see in the last days? You know what I see in the Western church? In the Western church, there's a big decline. They say it's the biggest decline in church attendance and church membership in the history of the church in the Western world. It's now. I see a decline. And we can we can talk many hours about it. But I know that Peter said in the last days, I will pour out, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. And you know what? I think I think the reason there's a decline is because we are not dependent on the spirit anymore. When Peter actually said that. He said, in the last days, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. And he said, and your young men will dream, will will see visions and your older men will dream dreams. The young woman will see visions and the older woman will dream dreams. And one day while I was just busy spending time with God, the Lord said to me, you know what, Harry, you guys are so busy in the Western world. 
guys are so busy. And the next thing that I just felt that the Holy Spirit said to me that really shocked me to the core is God said, you have replaced visions from God with your cell phone screens. It's not that you don't look at pictures anymore, but it's not the heavenly visions anymore. We scroll on technology and we're trying to find the answers to life on technology. But I really want to say in this day and age, What else can be written about conflict resolution? What else can be said about the way that we should react in a marriage? I think we've we've seen all the books, and I'm not against it. I think there's going to come still amazing stuff out there. But here is the thing. If we don't listen to the Spirit of God, we're in any case going to keep on making the same mistakes every single time we're going to keep on doing it I know I've studied it I know all the conflict uh, I know all the steps in a marriage and everything and then sometimes I still fight with Vinette and it's those moments when I walk away and the spirit clearly says Gary you are doing wrong that I've got to listen I can ignore it that the AFM church that we belong to, the denomination that we belong to, was built and started by John G. Lake in 1908. And it was built on this. A dependence on the Holy Spirit. A dependence on the Holy Spirit. He's here in our midst. He is truth. And He's a person. And you know where you are in your relationship with Him. If I have to tell you that you've got, a, you've got an opportunity to share with us how your relationship with the Holy Spirit is, and after you've shared where your relationship with the Holy Spirit is, if I can allow the Holy Spirit share with the rest of us where you are in your relationship with them you know you know where you are you know oh may we become hungry again for his presence